Yeah. With his lips. That's an old. Yeah, I'll get it real quick. Right. Well, you can you break it down. So called white man, they smiling smile on your face. Gonna be the worst ones, like when they come up here, the Christians and stuff like that. Oh, I love black people, I love everybody. No, they don't. They'll be the main ones when they leave. Fuck you, nigga. I hate your, I hate your guts and stuff like that, man. Yep. So all that fucking uh, smiling and stuff like that, it's just a front, man. That's right. This is Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself. Yeah, though he humble himself. Oh, yeah, they at work. Oh, I love you. I mean, I'm cool with you. Yeah. I'm cool with black people. We should hang out and stuff like that. Nah, come on. And go crouching. Go crouching like he cool with you. Go ahead. Yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou had, hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, because he's scheming on you, man. He, he's trying to figure you out, trying to see what you're about and stuff. And after you figure out what you're about, he ain't going to deal with you. He's going to show his true spirit. That rust going to come up. It's not It's not, It's not. not all wiped away. It's, it says, say him not by thee. Right, don't deal with it. I mean, you have to deal with them at work. Don't get me wrong, but outside of work, man, don't deal with them, man, because they, they're, they're our enemy. Sirach chapter 6 verse 13 Separate thyself from thine enemies yep. And take heed of thy friends And take heed of thy friends The only friends you really have is the brothers and the truth you know? Sirach chapter 12 verse 12 Say him not by thee Lest when he have overthrew thee He stand up in thy place Neither let him sit at thy right hand Lest he seek to take thy seat And thou at the last remember my words And be pricked therewith Right, so like, uh, what's a good example? Like the Jakes that invented stuff. They had, they had, they, they still, they still, the so-called white man still, uh, the inventors say he uh invented the stuff, man. Through patents. Yeah. Through patents, what they do, they will find a Jake, and he will have an idea, he will create something, and then what Esau would do, he will uh, have him sign a contract, basically a patent. Esau will have the patent on his invention and he will make uh, a large percentage of the money off of this invention but you get a small percentage right. but you, you you have no claims to that invention you can't come out and say oh I invented this because they'll say no you did not this person has the patent therefore they're credited as the inventor they did that at McDonald's when I used to work at McDonald's when I was 14 yeah. they had a like uh, idea box you write it down and put it in the box they using that idea you're not going to get no credit for that. Sirach chapter 12 verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Right. So who? why are you going to help a serpent, man? He's going to bite you. He's meant to be the devil, so he's gonna, his true spirit going to really come up. It's, it's rooted in him. He can't change it. The most I made the so-called white man the devil. And he made the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American the righteous. Only two-thirds are going off right now. That's right. For while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. And right. So if you begin to fall, he, he going to bite you, man. His true spirit going to come out. And he going to leave you. Yep. And he going to mock you. Did all. That's what he did in slavery, man. That's what he did. And he's still doing it to, as today. That's right. It says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If the adversary come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Right. That's the, that's the white man all day, man. Yep. Come up, oh man, I, I appreciate what you brothers are doing. Then when you see through, you because we, we, we deal with the scriptures, we know he's bullshitting. We cut that. Then, when, like the brother said, when he leave, he's flaming on you. He calling you a nigga and all types of shit, man. To hell with him. All right, you can go back to uh, Ezekiel. All right. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. Yeah. 
And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, yep. that I hear him that spake unto me. Yep. And he said unto me, Son of man, I sent thee to the, to the children of Israel to a, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. And that's the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Descent. All right, because they have descendants that probably don't look like a typical Negro, Latino, Native American, but they are because on their father lineage, which counts, they go back to that, like the Sicilians, the Irish, the Scottish, the Wales, some British. They go back to Negroes, the Moors, all right? And they, they, as, they as just as rebellious as, as a typical Negro, Latino, Native American because they go back to them. Can you read it? To a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. And how they rebel against the Most High? They go and worship these other gods, man. That's what they worship in in these churches, man. All right, they worship, soon they're going to worship Ceramuses and Tamu, all right, and Nimrod. When Christmas comes, they're going to celebrate Satan, mainly the white man, for destroying the North American Indians and enslaving the North American Indians and putting them on reservations, which is a typical, uh, uh, your prototype concentration camp, all right? They're gonna celebrate the enslavement of the Negroes with Thanksgiving and, and the, the damn near uh, eradication of you Latinos, okay? When they celebrate Thanksgiving. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse one. Yeah. Hear ye the word which the Lord uh, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Yeah, where does it say that in the Bible that Thanksgiving, or the, the custom of Thanksgiving, was given from the Heavenly Father to the Israelites? It's not in the scriptures. That's the sacrifice of Esau, and the scriptures say that the sacrifices of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord. The ways of the wicked are an abomination unto the Lord, and his peon thoughts is an abomination to the Lord. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. That's right. They see these uh, so-called UFOs in the sky, and then they start freaking out and stuff. Really, those are the angels in the chariots, man. Chariots of salvation for Israel. Okay, keep reading. For the custom of the people are vain. And that, that Christmas, that Christmas, that Black Friday, which many of you hippopotamus looking nigga women gonna go to these darn stores the uh the finally exercise you know they ass don't want to do a, a a walk around the block or run but all of a sudden when black friday come they they track stars you know they hurling over uh stumbled people or, or treading on them all right they got the strength of uh, 10 men they throwing bitches around just to get a tickle me ammo or something all right that whole custom is vain. Cause, uh, especially this year, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and even these Caucasians, they don't got money like that to go spend on some darn Christmas. That's why more of you women are single around this year. That's why you try to uh, butter up men so you can get a man so you can go and buy you a bunch of bullshit, man. Yeah, to hell with you too. That's why I hope you get, I hope you end up getting uh, a urinary uh, track infection wearing them tight ass pants. Demon, keep reading. For the customs of the people are vain. And it's vain. It's vain to go and buy a, a tree that got chopped down because it's going to die. And you put it in your house and you put them hot ass lights on it and then your house end up catching on fire. That's vain. It's vain to go to these stores and buy up a bunch of madness that's going to end up either getting returned the next day because nobody didn't want that or end up getting broke within hours. Or you never use it. That's vain. People are stupid, man. Keep reading. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, yep. the work of the hands of the workmen. And I don't, I don't know if they'll be able to repair New York to do that, that little custom they like to do when they go and they chop down one of the big ass evergreens out of the uh, forest and they come and put it in, in New York and everybody comes in to admire it. Cause New York looked like a scene from I Am Legend, man. Totally desolate. Keep reading. 
the works of the hands of the workmen with the ox. The axe. Yeah. He go out. He go in the forest.